everyone, we are back with another video, and today we'll be doing Temple of Sethralis. Um, for this first boss, this is a two-part boss. It's with Adrius and Aspix. As you can see, I first jump in here, and I target the melee boss. Um, that is As Adrius, I believe. And you'll see I get him furthest away from the caster boss. That's how I'm going to be identifying everybody on this one. Um, for this specific um, boss fight, um, you will probably are not going to be seeing these ads. This is teaming only. But as you can see here, um, the, uh, the caster boss does do this AoE ability. Um, obviously, when they are targeted with the shield and when they get 100% shield, they do a special ability. The caster specifically does an AoE ability, which does a lot of damage. And the more damage, the closer you are. And that is why I kite away the melee boss as as much as I can. Now we're seeing the Miwai's boss special ability. All we do is we run away from our current position when he targets you with these lines. And now, hey, I'm going to shoot back over to the Miwai one, right? And I want to keep this match max range, the idea of the max range. I do, I like to do as I do like to do, um, throw in um, and interrupt when I can. Hopefully our other Miwai's and other um, DPS will do the same. And now I will kite the boss further away. It's a little bit difficult right here on this occasion because this person is standing right there. But I'm going to kite away. And this is preventing a lot of damage to our raid or to our uh, our group. Sorry. And now we're going to switch back and forth. This is tyrannical. So you need to understand these bosses are do have a lot more health than normal. Um, but this is just going to be great for the video. You're not going to be switching back and forth as much normally. But this is what I found works best i run with pugs okay i run i do not have a guild that i run raids with every single mythic plus i do is with random people all the time and this is what i have found works the best as you can see here i did make a little bit of a mistake avoiding the melee um, special ability the 100 percent energy ability i moved the caster in the center of the map right here um, which is going to make it a little bit harder we are going to take a little bit more damage but that's fine i'll just pop a cooldown if i'm worried about it um, so when that does come up right now i'm a little concerned about our dps because they are really close um, and it looks like they almost got one shot maybe they popped a defensive i'm not sure but they were a little too close and that was probably because of my poor positioning but here it is, the fight, fairly easy. All you have to remember is like uh, start on um, the ad that's to the left, which will be the melee boss. So I'll kind of moonfire them and I will taunt them immediately, start damaging them, throw in a interrupt for one of the range um, bosses, and then we just go back and forth. Whenever that boss hits his 100% energy marker and does his special ability, I switch. Um, but other than that, this is pretty good. This, this works really well. Um, it, you know, your group will most of the time follow you, specifically if they're melee. If they don't know what they're doing, this is just a helpful way um, of getting through this. The next boss, we'll jump into this right now. The next boss is Mer Merikatha, the snake boss. I don't know how to pronounce her name. When I go into this boss, I tell my groups all the time, especially high keys, this is the 10 plus, not too bad, but on high keys, I say, make the room clean make sure the room is clean and what do i mean by that i tank it right here what i expect my group to be is on the outer edges why if they get cast with noxish breath right now they are not in the middle i told my group bad okay this was unnecessary you do not have to do this but i found it's kind of a jerk move but i found it works really well they understand what i expect of that last one was good i said good so now they know what is expected how I want the spits to go. For this first group, you're just going to AoE them down, um, throw, a, throw a CC in there and just AoE them down. These ads are very easy. The next ads are a little bit more difficult. You'll see that I will throw in a, um, a group CC stun, and then I'm going to go and just DPS them as much as I can once I grab aggro that I feel is adequate. Um, then I'll kite. You do need to kite those ads because they will throw in this dust, which makes them um, unable to be targeted, unable to be damaged. So now right here, I'm much happier with my group's um, positioning. This is a lot better. And this is not, and I'm not telling them, hey, this is what I want you to do. They're doing it on their own, probably because I'm saying bad, good. 
unnecessary things, but hey, it gets it done. This is, um, what do I say? Oh, crap, I forgot what this is. This is tyrannical, so the bosses have a lot more health, so you really is important to make the room queen. So you can see here, throwing some AoE right here, that, that CC, get some aggro up, built up. Now I'm just going to kite. Kite them for my DPS to be able to damage them. Also avoiding the boss who's going in the middle of the room. That's fine. Might have to kite this next one. Okay. After this is done, it is important to put a marker on the boss. Unfortunately, our hero just got really bad luck on that one. Um, unavoidable damage right there. Okay. I will mark the tank, or will mark the boss a little bit later in this. But you do need to understand at this point, next time the ads pop up, this boss should be dead. Okay, my DPS in this group, it's fairly good. You might not have the same DPS. Maybe if you're watching this later on, um, you're probably going to have better DPS than I did. But it's important to mark this boss because when these ad comes out, they need to be avoided. Um, so you're going to see at the end of this video, the ads start spawning right here. You should avoid them if you're at the if you're if you're at that case. Next boss, very easy. Galvats, whatever his name is, I always tank him in the same spot, and I found to have the most success here. Then you tell your group, I am backup. As a tank, just be the backup. Don't be the hero trying to take everything. Your group can do that just fine. I don't mind taking damage. I don't mind doing and using all my my cooldowns and hills on this, but don't do it. You're already taking a lot of damage. What you're going to see me doing here is I'm just backing up. I'm going to position my camera where I can see the incoming uh, pillars, and I'm just going to back them up. As you can see here, I still haven't got hit by anything. My tank, my group is doing a very good job. I have not told my group anything on this one except I will back up. That's all I told them, and they are just running this like champs. Right here, I'm going to move over. I'm actually going to tank this one, okay? And that's fine. Maybe my group says, hey, we can't take anymore. And that's that's what it is, what it is. You are going to see at one point, I am going to take two pillars in a row. You need to make sure everybody takes at least one pillar full. But if they don't, you're backing them up. As you can see here, I'm taking two. I cheat. In this position, you can cheat over. And I'm like, hey, I kind of go to my, close to my uh, warrior. And I'm like, hey, bud, I'm not saying anything. But he's like, oh, crap, yeah, maybe I need to take this off my tank, you know? I didn't have to say anything. I just kind of nudged over. The link followed me, and here we are. Boss, very simple. Um, very simple. I remember doing this my very the very first week it came out. It was very difficult. Um, but just doing it with this location really helps everything out. Um, I would suggest it. It will make your life so much easier, make the group's life so much easier. The range doesn't have to go 360 around the boss. They can just kind of, you know, go right in that direction, just back and forth, depending on when the pillars are. Very easy, better for everyone else. I would suggest this location. Next, we're not going to be talking about a boss. On this specific dungeon, um, other than the orbs, which are just terrible, I hate those orbs running across them, something else that can screw your times up are the ads, okay? Are um, the orbs, where you have to throw the orbs into the eyeballs, okay? My particular group makes a mistake here. Um, I'm not telling them to do anything. I'm just seeing what they're going to do, and hopefully they choose the right choice. But as a tank, I've seen tanks mess this up. You need to grab everything, okay? Don't just sit there and be like, oh, hey, here's the guardian or whatever, the guy that takes the orb. We need to DPS him down. Dude. Grab everything. I'm going to grab the Guardian over here. Uh, AoE him or just damage him. Maybe he's not following me. I don't really care. I'm getting the group. And what I'm doing is I'm going around this pillar. This pillar right here is going to be the queen spot. Okay? Now I'm going over. I'm dragging everything in this one location. Orb runners, you need to understand, avoid where the tank is. And tank, get the hell out of the way. Grab everybody and get out of the way. See what this orb does? They're going to try to throw it over everybody right here. No. Wrong idea. They should have thrown it to the left of the pillar. The left of the pillar is completely clean. Uh, so that's up to your group. Hopefully they're smart. This guy threw it right into this ad. Um, if you would have thrown it to the left of the pillar, it would have been clear. That's what you need to do as a tank. You grab everything from start to finish and get out the way. Get them all out of the way so these orbs can be passed back and forth without a problem. Obviously, depending on you know some of the fixes, could be a little bit difficult. You might need to adjust, but that's what you're going to do. Last and final boss, 
something I tell my groups, group up, and I put a marker on our healer. Group up, marker on my healer. There's not going to be a lot said on this one. When you do group up, it's going to bring those main ads right to you. I'm going to taunt this ad. I'm going to put a marker on him. He is scold. He needs to die first. He needs to die immediately, not first. He just needs to be prioritized, right? Once that main guy goes down, once that caster goes down, I'm going to move to the other side. I've noticed when I tell everybody to group up, they are going to be following you, which is perfect. Casters. Now, I need to mention casters. I don't worry about them, okay? You got range in your group. Let them worry about the casters. Put a taunt on there. Make sure the casters are targeting you. Um, and you could just put some mitigation up there. Um, like you can see, he's going down just fine. I'm not moving out of my way, which means probably my melee DPS also isn't moving out of their way, which is great. They need to prioritize the main ads, kill them so the next phase can start, right? When the next phase starts, hey, they can jump on that caster. If they wanted, they can jump on the caster while killing the frogs. Something else you will see me do as a druid specifically is I will heal. Um, I'm not doing a lot of damage. I've tried focusing on the frogs okay and trying to just do as much damage as i can just cc do your crappy cc that you have and that's it let your let your group do what they can you know let your healer kite hopefully your healer is pretty good at kiting in this case it was a druid so he's going to be an excellent kiter you may not have that so you may need to war stomp do some cc but other than that if you have any type of healing heal uh so i healed right here until i was oom um, and then that's it. I went back into bear form. If there was still adds up, we would do it. But now it's just rinse and repeat. Very easy here. I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the video. But if you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up. This video is going to help you so much. Like I said earlier, I just do this pugs, okay? I don't run with everything. So what you're going to find here, you may be running with your own group, and you guys can make things specialized. You can do things a certain way. This is the best way I have found to get pugs through here at the end of the time. Um, so you need to understand, you know, like you can do things differently, but this is the best way that I found, and I feel that you're going to have the most success doing it this way. Uh, but that's it. If you guys like this video, if you have any other hints, tips, tricks, leave a comment. Please leave a comment for us. We would love that. Um, but that's it for me. This is Blue. Please subscribe if you like more content. I will be bringing more videos like this out there, more high-end Mythic Plus tanking guides. But that's it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.